Hello everybody, Garzi here. Bring you my first impressions of Forest Village Life is Futile. Um, I didn't play the old village game, but apparently it, it's supposed to be like it, or an homage to it, or it's the same people made it, I, I don't know. I didn't do my research. I should have. I apologize. But, uh, for now, let's just take a look at the game. It apparently just released, too. Like, officially released. This is your new village. During the next several minutes, we will show you the game basics and teach you the main principles. Okay. One of seven basics. Each villager must have a living space where they can eat, Get warm during cold months, have a family. If the villager does not have a shelter, he or she will not be able to eat or get warm. In this case, they will either freeze to death or die from starvation. All homeless people are marked with a special icon. Let's mark them. <laughs> let's build the... Let's build a dwelling for this homeless one. Press the house group button. Uh, da -da. Build house. Uh, green tiles, good. Yes. Uh, the building information. You see the name. Building yada 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 yada. Okay. Well, uh, we'll, we'll build it. This is a nice house. It's much bigger than anyone else's. This is like construction site by clicking on it. All right. Let's see. Progression bar, the upper part of the window. Below, you can see the required resources and construction time. Prepared resources are shown in the upper part of the resource block, while total need amount is in the lower part. Okay. Uh, necessary building resources are stored at the warehouse. Select the highlight warehouse. These are the resources stored at this particular warehouse. On top of them is a warehouse fill meter. Do not let it go up to 100% or you will not be able to store new resources. I feel like I just need to make more uh, 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 and I would have like the pilot captain like tutorial voice be like, ah, uh, you just, you just go and uh, click on the building and take a look at the uh, resources over there and uh, if you click on uh, you know the empty spot over there you'll see the uh, progression bar and how much materials you uh, you need it looks like you need about uh, 400 lumber this is your village overview window. It shows the total amount of all resources in your storage combined on the left side of this window. Sorry, com got completely distracted by that music. I'm just, I'm just taken aback. I was not expecting that at all. Alright. Uh, on the left side of this window, you can see weather and population info. The total population is shown next to the, uh, village name. All available unemployed villagers will start gathering resources. They take them from the closest warehouse and carry to the construction site. Now you need to assign builders. Select the building. Uh, builder. Builder? Can speed up time. Sure, let's speed up time. All the required resources are on site. Buildings are assigned. Now simply wait for the house to be built. Okay. Now what? Do do we just watch it? Oh! Look at him go! They brought hay and rocks and green squares. Oh, we got a wall. We, we got, we got lumber. Can this go any faster? Nope. Select the constructed house. We built that. This window shows the list of all villagers who live in the house. Their gender, name, age, and profession. My profession is a teenager. I'm a professional teenager. 
Below you can find a list of resources that villagers use to cope with hunger and to get warm during cold times. They will begin to move the resources as soon as they move in on the house. Okay. There's several types of houses. Each one has their own things. Yada yada. Different things do different things, which affects different things. In the upper right area of the screen, you can see the mini-map. It displays the map of the island. Planned and built constructions are the current position of the camera. In the bottom left area of the screen, you can find the game events. Game events log. Besides the list, there is a panel of filter keys, which can be used to switch on and off the display of certain events. Some buildings can be upgraded. Workers will par partially disassemble and then rebuild it. Improved buildings have higher characteristics. Click the upgrade button in the window of the newly built house. Upgrade. Improved medium sized house, living space with extra bedrooms. High pregnancy chance. The better the room, the higher the, or the better the house, the higher the pregnancy. You know what? That sounds strangely legit. I'm not going to argue that. Uh, this upgrade window. Yada, 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 yada. We need that resources to do it. Now start the construction work because you have all the resources you need in the warehouse. Press construction button. Now let's wait for it to be built. Look at this beautiful painting. Let's kit. Can we move? There we go. I don't know how to do a good Bob Ross voice. I wish I could. Just look at this happy little house. This newborn happy little house. It's about to blossom into a beautiful majestic medium house. I don't know when. I assume in the morning. All right, it's morning. Oh, they, they are bringing materials over. Oh, they have outlined it. Oh, they took the roof off. Are they building like a third floor? Or just a second floor? For some reason, it looks like a third floor from where I'm at. Nope, nope, that's that's a second floor. Are we going to get more? Hey, look at that. They got a chimney. Oh, hey. What a nice little house. Press the button and the window of list of professions will open. Uh... Uh, where, where, where is this game? Oh God, what did I do? Oh, oh well, all sellers need to eat or they will starve to death. There are lots of methods of food production. All the methods are listed in the food production groups. Open it and by pressing the button show. Da 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 da. Choose the place where Fisherman Lodge will be built. Move up the construction. Ro Use move and rotation to set the construction building with the entrance on the coast. The rest on the water. Building layout will help you with this. How do we rotate it? Is it just R? Oh, yep, yeah, it's R. All right, we can we could do this. This looks like a cool spot. Alright. Now what? Oh, now we get to watch it being born. Ah, oh, look at this. This is what happens when... When happy... Architects come together... With a happy fisherman. And they make a beautiful baby... Uh... Dock. Right. Uh... <laughs> Select the fisherman lodge you just built. Select it. Assign three fishermen for the job. I want three fishermen because I like fish. I actually do like salmon. Uh, select fisherman lodge. As soon as they store the catch, one of them will carry it to the barn. Wait for a while until the fisherman lodge storage is full. Yeah, look at them fish. The storage is full. One of the fishermen is going to carry mesh. Back to the barn. Left click on them. Is that him? Oh, hey. Hey, what's up, Rainy Deus? Is that, is that their name? I feel like that's their name. This is the villager's window. Each villager has a number of characteristics, one of which is age. You can see it 
you can see it to the right of the name. Oh, so she's 29. Okay. Below the scales of happiness, which affects productivity, clothing, and condition. And also tools condition scale. Further down, you can see icons to show his or her home and work. Okay. To take direct control of the seller and manage him directly, click on the avatar. Oh my god. So wait, does that mean I'm moving? Oh my god, it is! I have possessed this person! The person who was this is now no more! I have become he... her. Apparently I'm really short too. Uh, do we go over here? I thought that was... Wait, where are they going? Oh, they were just allowed down there? Oh, dirt. There's stairs. God, I'm really, really slow. Now carry resources to barn. A large building with barrels at the entrance, which is situated near the well. Get close to the doorstep until you see a hint about interaction, and then leave resources there. Okay. Oh, there. There's the barn. Herp of dirt. Uh... Where do we drop the stuff? Do we actually go inside? Uh... Is this it? I don't know if we did it right. I feel like we did it right. Press the escape button to leave character control view. Besides food, you need to collect construction and craftable resources like wood, which is used in the construction of almost every building. And click the wood gathering, yada yada, select the area of trees to begin cutting it. We are going to cut all these trees. I click the mouse to leave a lot to leave resource gathering mode. Oh. Click on the highlighted woodcutter. Hi Emily. Switch to first person. Was it? It was this, right? Use the horn ability by pressing the one key. This will temporarily speed up the villagers' race. Hey, here's a horn. That guy didn't get sped up at all. He just stayed still. When it's warm, fields are one of the best sources of food. Let's create it. Press the field construction menu. Fields have a turnable size, so you need to click the left mouse button while holding and move the cursor to stretch the area. Okay. Let's do it all here. There. Right? Use the right mouse button to leave it. Wait for your builders to construct. Auto saving. <laughs> Thanks, auto save. Just do it, doing God's work, gotta save. Look at him scurrying around. I like this. I, I like seeing, you know, buildings just come into existence and seeing, like, the little guys work on it and everything. I actually like Sim games. I just never really, you know, record them because they're just Sim games. I mean,. You know, this is a first impressions video. It's different, but... Oh, wait, they're done. Alright. Different kinds of crops which you can plant on the fields. Every crop has its own set of characteristics and weather requirements for care. Current weather is displayed in the village window as icon as a temperature value. What? The current weather is displayed in the village window as icon and temperature value. Oh, the upper left. Derp. I, was, I kept on looking at the upper right going, what the fuck are they talking about? The current season affects both crops and villagers. Crops do not grow during cold season. Select the field by clicking on it. Select potato. I'm totally down to make potatoes. Potatoes are legit. Now assign a farmer. Uno farmer. Every plant needs water. Farmer will automatically carry water from the well after seeing the field. If moisture is above the required level, the farmer will loosen the soil to dry it. 
Plants can grow without water, but they will grow very slowly, and there is a chance they will not be harvestable in time before cold weather. Huh. Is that true? Can you just, like, plant a lot of, like, fruits and vegetables and just not water them and they're they're perfectly fine you just don't have to worry about it i mean i had a plum tree once we never watered that thing they gave us plums but that's a tree you know uh, I'm, I'm talking like crops I, I figured they would just die Many crops are yet to be discovered by the villagers. You can send mar maritime explorers on expeditions from a port. A group of explorers will travel in search of new plants, orchard, tree orchard trees, animals, and new ways to get food. Bacon. We have discovered bacon beyond the river, sire. Villagers can eat common plants as well. These plants can be collected by gatherers for bushes that grow mainly in forests. Let's build a gatherer's hut. Firstly, we have to flatten the area as many buildings cannot be built on slopes. Now press the raise area button. Can I move this time thing? Like, or, or can I take it away? I don't... I don't know how to move that, and it's bugging me. It's bugging me! Uh, select the 10x10 10 10 area, left click on the last button, then shoot the highest level, confirm by clicking left mouse button. Look at the time needed. So, so do whatever it is I've been doing. Alright, um, where do we want to build it? Let's... Uh, you know what? Let, let's do it over here. I want to see how well they do it over here. Oh, I need 10 by 10. Oh. Oh, it actually tells you the numbers. Nice. Okay. What? Uh, then choose the height level and confirm by pressing the mouse button. Look at the time needed for flattening in the setup window. How how can I just how how do I just make it flat? I just want it to be flat. I don't I don't want it to be anything else. Wait until workers finish flattening the ground. Aw, they're even working late at night. Look at them. Well, they were. Well, the ground is definitely sinking. Press the build gatherer's hut. Gather's hut. Wait, why can't I build this area? Is it not, is it not good enough? Oh, no, it's good enough. There we go. And in the city window, you can allow or forbid the consumption of each resource. <laughs> no eggs and salt for anybody. Vegetables and fruits are currently blocked. Let's unblock them. To do this, double click the left mouse button on their icons. Where? Wh oh, there. Well, if necessary, you can also block them. Each resource contains a certain energy and calories, which are vitally important for villagers. With the mouse cursor over any resource, wait a couple of seconds and you will see a pop-up! Good! The different resources not only have different amounts of calories, but also contain different vitamins! For a healthy and happy life of your people, all possible type of animal resources should always be available! We have now covered the basics! Fuck, this was a long ass tutorial! Wow! But, damn, I, I didn't know this game was so in depth with a lot of things. Holy shit! Ah! You will find many more opportunities in game and learn about them from tooltips. Just one more bit of advice to end on. Keep an eye on your food and firewood balance. Don't let them deplete or your people may starve and freeze to death. Good luck!
I think I accidentally skipped the part of, of how to harvest the food, the lumber, but I'm gonna assume it's this? Oh. Lumberjack's Lodge. Forester's Lodge. Ah, well, I'll, I'll figure it out later. We're, let's, let's get in a, let's get in a game. Let's get in a game. Let's, let's get in a real game. A real game. Alright. What should we name it? Uh, let's name it, a uh, uh, Jurassic Village Retreat. There we go. This is Jurassic Village Retreat. This is this is the part where there are no dinosaurs, but only like the premium service people come here. And we'll have disasters on because of course it's Jurassic Park. It wouldn't be without disasters. You will lose all current Yes. Let's just not worry about it. Just give me give me game. Oh, hey! We do start out with, like, a little thing. Anyway, oh my god, it's, like, the same fucking area. Oh, well, no, it looks like there's more trees and stuff. So, we have this whole island to ourselves? Huh. Wow, it's a good-sized island. That's pretty cool. Would I ever reach the point of actually, like, exploring this whole thing and... And using this whole place? I mean, I never played Village, so... I always thought eventually just everyone just died eventually. You just... You eventually just lost everything. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's start by getting some fish. I'm down for that. Uh, Gatherer's Hut. Uh, no, not Gatherer's Hut. Fisherman Lodge. That's what I wanted. We'll put you right there. Good. Uh, we'll assign two builders to you. Okay. That that will be a beautiful fisherman lodge. I I can't wait till the day. I feel like I should give it a name, but I can't think of anything. We'll call it Cumbies. There we go. <laughs> Is the Cumbies built yet? No one's even working out. Oh, no, people are build, are bringing the materials for the new cubbies. Oh, that is, that is glorious. Okay. While they are doing that, let us put a place... Because we're going to need wood, right? That's the thing. Because everything requires wood. So, let us put... Uh... Where should we put you? We will put you somewhere. Uh, can we flatten that? I wonder if we can flatten that and make like a pathway. Because I, I kind of want this near like all the trees. Actually, we'll just put it down here. Yeah. We'll just, we'll just put it down here. It'll be fine. Do we gotta assign people to that? No? Okay, so it just assigns the maximum amount of... Wait, what's that green... <gasps> Is that the only limit it has? No, then don't build it. Can I, can I, how do I cancel it? Uh, is this it? No, carpenter. Whatever. You know what? Whatever. It, we'll, we'll, we'll make do. We'll just make do. There's a lot of trees here. We'll be all right. Can we tell them to chop trees? Uh, or mine. Where? Like I said, I think we skipped over the part of of chopping the trees, or it was behind the the time to speed thing I don't know what to do whatever oh wait is this it collect wood yes collect all this wood I want this all cleared I want this to have I, I want this to be where we start 
the foundation of building a beautiful resort. That that's that's what I want. We're we're now just you know we're reaching the island and you know the, these are the workmen's huts, but uh, we we need to start building you know the big boy stuff, and then and then we slowly upgrade to you know all the all the dinosaurs. Damn, they built that quick. Fishermen. We'll we'll have two fishermen. We don't need three. We'll we'll keep our resources because we're gonna start assigning people to do all sorts of shit, aren't we? Oh, look at him go. Alright, we'll speed this up a bit. Oh. Are they are they chopping trees? Oh, they are! Look at that. <laughs> He's picking up that whole tree just like that. He's Giant fucking trees fall down, and it's just like this this little stump on people's backs. Uh, do I need to? What is this? Enable disable trees planting. Oh, so this would be like a reusable spot for it. Okay, yeah, we'll just worry about that. We'll just we'll just have one forester. We'll worry about the rest later. What what else should we get? Uh we should get food, huh? Food's food's important. We need food. Uh how how did we do food? Was it over here? Was it there? No, that looks like lumber. Terraforming? Resource? Collect hay, storage, food production, fields. There we go. All right, let's uh, you know what? Let's have. Wait, why is this not enough space? Okay, now it is. Uh, let's have it. You know what? Nah, we'll just have it in the same spot. We'll have it over here. We'll just have a massive fucking field. Oh no, we'll just have two smaller ones actually. What what do we want? 15 by 18, 15 by 20. We'll go 15 by 18. And then we'll have another field. 15 by 18. And then We'll make potatoes and we'll, I don't know what else we'll make, but I just know I want potatoes. I want my people to survive on potatoes. Potatoes are, are delicious. They are a must. If, if I really had to like survive off any one vegetable, it, it probably would be potatoes. It just, it goes so well with, you know, everything like salt and butter <laughs> and soda. You know, other resources that, you know, I would, of course, have if I was forced to have, you know, one type of, of resource, of, of food. I, I am, I, 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 hi. How are you guys? Look at them all carrying stuff. It's nice to see them all work. Oh, he had a saw for like a second. Oh, did... Did us not flattening this out be a bad thing? I'm kind of worried now. Does that mean, like, a lot of this isn't going to be usable? Whatever, I guess we'll find out, huh? Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Let's just... Alright, we'll speed you up. Come on. I want to plant something already. I wonder if we can have, like, watermelons. All right, what what can we have? Flax, grass, oats, potato. Should we do potato and wheat? I'm gonna say potato and wheat. And this one's just not even ready yet. All right, what else can we build? What is this hunting cabin? Apiary? Coop? Well, let's build a hunting cabin. 
Oh, thanks, autosave. You do you, buddy. Uh... I guess we should have it, like... Over here? Because they're all tearing apart all that shit, and that's gonna... Yeah, let, let's go over here. Wait, are those ore veins? No. Those are just random piles of shit. Is there paths? Or, you know, not random piles of shit, you know, rocks and... Wait, are those ore veins? What is that? How do we... How do we find out? Collect... Stone... Ore... Uh... Oh, wow. Can we collect all the stone here, too? Oh, so that's how it works. So these things really are just ore and stone. Huh. Alright. Okay. <laughs> X marks the spot. Look at that grassy-ass rock. Alright. Uh, what else can we build? Is there anything else we could build? We got, we got our cumbies up and running. Yeah, how are you guys doing? You guys doing the fishing thing? We got a lot of fish? How, how can we find out if we got a lot of fish? Hold on, let, let's see. Uh, you. 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 No, that's, that, those are animals. You. No. Emma. No, I don't want to be three years old. Bernie. Benny. Builder. You. Benny. Let me click on you. Huh? Wait, where... Where'd you go? Okay, hold on. We are pausing. We are taking over this man. And we are looking at our fish food resource. Because I want to know. Let me blow my trusty horn. Makes me move a little faster. Puts a little pep in my step. I always feel better once I have my trusty horn at my side. I'm just like, woohoo, time to go. I even do it like that. Woohoo, time to go. Hey, where are you going with all that? Okay, then. I guess that's what you're doing with it. Good job. What the fuck was he doing with it? He just went in there and just like ate it all? This crate of fish is mine. Well, it looks like we have fish. I'm gonna assume Cumbies is doing good. You guys doing good? Look at that. I didn't see where it went. Hey, whatever. We'll just we'll just imagine we're doing great. We'll just imagine we're doing we're doing fine. How do we exit out of this? Okay, good. Now that man's like, what the shit? What am I? I was just over in the forest, and what am I doing here now? I like to imagine they're just they're just beings that are just you know, kind of succumbing to our godly will. What should we build here? Let us build, not build, grow. What did I say? Wheat, wheat or oats? We'll do some wheat. Wheat sounds good. We sounds like a good staple. It goes with a lot of good things. But what? What's it do? Oh, we need to assign people. Wait, why? Why can't I assign people? What's what's wrong? Do I need more people? <gasps> we need more people. All right, let's build the house. We need more house because we need to encourage more babies. Uh, small house. There we go. Let's let's build it on the hill. Uh, do we want seaside? Yeah, let's have this one be seaside. I'm okay with that. Let's let's have just a little another seaside cottage. Uh, they'll be neighbors. Why can't I build in this area? Oh, I can build there. Okay. Now we we get the buildings and they get the babies. And then we get the babies. And then the babies become the people that do the things. 
It's a shack. Can we upgrade this shack? Prove a small house, living space, have extra bedroom, average pregnancy chance. Okay. So we can upgrade it. Let, let's let's upgrade all these. I, I'm, I'm down to upgrade it. We'll, we'll upgrade all these shacks into slightly better shacks. Look at that. There's a two-year-old in this one. It's in there with two fishermen. Can you imagine it? They're, they're coming home smelling like fish, all talking like, Ah, oh, you should have seen it, Annabelle. There was this squid, and it just kind of latched onto Frederick's arm. And Frederick's like, What? No, it didn't. And then he's like, don't wrap me out in front of the kid, man. You got, we we're trying to look cool here. And, you know, he's like, oh, all right. Yeah, this, this was it a squid or an octopus? And he'd be like, dude, it's a squid. And he'd be like, oh, yeah, all right. So the squid just came up, latched on me, and it took my arm clean off. Annabelle is just, you know, she's two years old, so she, just, she does understand. She's like, ah, fish, fish. And then they'll be like, yep, <laughs> it's a good day to work at Cumbies today. Oh, it is, it is. This is a right a good day to work at Cumbies today. I must be triggering every single person that works at Cumbies. Why isn't anything being upgraded? What, what is happening here? What happened to all my builders? Where are they? Oh, I've been paused. I'm a dumbass. Oh, oh God, I am dumb. I apologize. But hey, you know, it is, it is what it is. Uh, this is a well, right? So I don't have to build a well. All right, what, what are these? Are these all the children? Oh, you're gonna grow up to be fine workers. You? You can work in the hunting lodge all the way over there and no one will notice it. Wow, this is beautiful at night, actually. Wow, I'm digging this. This is this is kind of peaceful in a way. You know, this is this is might actually be like a game that I might play like on my own. I mean, I don't I don't I wasn't planning to, but but you know, I, I like I like little sim games like this. And this has been, you know, a very very peaceful time, hasn't it? It's all been the the only interaction we've had is is with that the guy singing the song going da 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 I don't I, he just did a bunch of does. I'm not I'm not a singer. All right. Don't expect me to sing sing anything good. So this is where all the animals are. All right, so we're we're going to have a hunting lodge, which means we'll we'll be getting meat, right? We'll we'll be getting that, right? Meat. So, where's the hunting lodge? Is it built yet? I forgot where I put it. I... I... Oh, wait, is that the green dot? Oh, yeah, I spun myself around. Okay. Uh, we will have... Two hunter. Nope, one hunter. Resource limit. Wait, does that grow this thing? No? No, I, I thought that would, but I I was mistaken. Oh, oh, had to try it. All right, so we need, we need the kids to grow up so we can have more hunters. And so we can have more meat. And then we can put our meat with our potatoes and we can have steak and potatoes. I like this idea. Come on, get the meat. Get the meat going. I want my steaks and potatoes. Oh, we still need a farmer, don't we? Damn it. Get the baby making. Come on, we need more people. I was on pause again. Son of a bitch. But that's okay, because then you can sit and enjoy this time. Look at this view. 
This purgatorious view. What the shit? All right. You don't get to see the horizon. You're blinded by what's out there. They even have little fish. Wait, someone starved to death? What? Wait, a child died? Wait, 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 why is everyone starving to death? What's wrong? We have fish! Come on! We have fish! Why, why, why are you starving to death? You eat the fish! You eat the fish! What? What? What are you? What's happening here? Why is everyone frozen? Is it because everyone's starving to death? Oh, because I pressed spacebar. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay. So, do we have enough for... No. Uh, well... We, uh... We have lost the builders. Our builders went out and uh, starved themselves to death. And uh, the kids are now learning to grow up without any form of role models. So no one really knows what's happening anymore. They're, they're just like, why is everybody dying? And why aren't we the, the growing our population? And all the old people are like, uh, I don't know. Everyone that tries just dies. So, yep. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that was Forest Village. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, wow, it got all rainy. I mean, I'm sure I could save this, but, you know, it's going to be a while. I got to wait until they do the baby making, and I feel like I killed, like, half my village. I did kill half my village, didn't I? How do I find out how is this it? I have three adults, two teenagers, and no children. So I have three people basically running this whole town. And what how many of them are fishing? Two of them? We'll have one take off that we'll we'll make him a farmer. We desperately need a farmer. But Either way, I, uh, this was First Looks. I have been Karzy. Hope you have enjoyed. And, uh, feel free to do the things that YouTubers like. Like all the subscribes and all that. And all that good things. So, bye-bye. Take, take care, my people. Stay awesome. Karzy out.